Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas 2020. In case you guys may or may not know, I am participating in Vlogmas 2020. So I'm posting a video each and every day until Christmas day. So if you guys missed out on the previous 11 videos, I'll go ahead and link the playlist up above as well as down below so you can catch up, period. But in today's video, I did want to give you guys a review as well as my first impressions on the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Creams that just launched on December 10th. I went to the store, I picked them all up, and we're going to talk about it and try them on, okay? So before we get started with today's video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below and join the family. We're doing lit things over here. New videos every day until Christmas Day. New videos three times a week on the regular, like just join the family give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy and drop a comment down below with your thoughts comments questions opinions or anything else that's on your mind after you finish today's video and make sure you guys watch this whole video because there may or there may not be a giveaway included in today's video so make sure you guys watch the whole video to find out and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so before we get started with today's video, I did want to address today's look. So I still have in my faux crochet locks, which I'm actually going to take out as soon as I'm finished recording these videos because girl, it's time. Like I have a whole afro in my roots. But these were done by my sister here by Kimmy and I had them in for two and a half months. So if you're looking for a protective style that's going to last you a while, these locks are it baby girl, okay? These lashes I got from AliExpress. I'll have them linked down below. My lippy dry because we about to put some lippies on. Earrings. Oh, these earrings are top shop, but I purchased them from ASOS. And then I have on this robe, which is giving me very much so Mulan. I got this thrifting when I was in London or Paris, but I got it thrifting. So I just wanted to put it on today to give the girls a little look. And I did a real too. I just thought it looked real cute. No pun intended. But yeah, that's today's look. Now let's get into this video. So before we get into the product, I did want to give you guys some information on these gloss balm creams. So they do retail for $19, which is basically the same price as the regular gloss balm. So I don't have any complaints there because basically what these gloss balm creams are supposed to be are like gloss balms with more coverage and no shimmer. So if you guys have used the gloss balms before, you guys know they have like, you know, little speckles, little glitters in them which I like, but they're giving the girls options, which we always enjoy. As I mentioned, these gloss balm creams are meant to be medium to full coverage with zero shimmer. They're free of parabens, flatates. I still don't know how to pronounce that. They're gluten-free and they are cruelty-free. So they are also claimed to be buildable with full intensity pigment and brilliant shine, a non-sticky feeling, peach vanilla scent with vitamin A to nourish the lips, cause you know, lips be dry and they're available in five shades so i did go to my local sephora and i did pick up all five shades because i needed to see what what the girls are doing okay because one thing about fenty is they know how to do a lip so i was like let me go ahead and pick up all five shades so that we could see how well they did this lip so when I came home, I did swatch them because i was thirsty i'm like i need to see what these look like because y'all know when you go on sephora now you can't swatch things so as soon as I got home I whipped them out I swatched them on my hand and I was just like "Ooh, okay but I waited to put them on my lips with you guys so first impression so just a little note on the packaging they do come in this packaging which is basically Fenty Beauty staple packaging for their products which I absolutely love and then on it it says cream so as I mentioned these gloss balm creams are available in five shades the first shade is Fenty Glow which is a universal rose nude Honey Waffles, which is described as a honey butter brown. Mauve Wives, which is described as a rosy mauve. Cookie Jar, which is described as a chocolate caramel. And Fruit Snacks, which is described as a berry red. So I'm going to swatch each of these colors on my lips. But right now, I'm not using any lip liners, any toppers, because I really want to see how the product performs, how it looks, and you know what it's giving the girls so the first one i'm going to try out is fenty glow which is complementary to the fenty glow regular gloss balm which is honestly still one of my favorites to this day 
so nothing on my lips my lips are dry too because i want to see how this vitamin e is going to nourish these lips okay so So this is Fenty Glow. I feel like it's a nice everyday, effortless, juicy look for the lips. I absolutely love it. Paired with the brown lip liner, you got yourself a winner. You got yourself a winner. I'm actually going to pair it with a brown lip liner. So I'll go ahead and insert that clip, which I'm going to record after this video. But um, yes, a brown lip liner with this. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe she off I did also want to see how easy they are to remove so I'm just using some toilet tissue or nothing on it easy to remove easy to remove so the next shade we're going to try is honey waffles Okay, honey waffles. I was not expecting that at all. It's pigmented, but it's still glossy, if that makes sense. Mm. Fenty Beauty. Let me tell y'all something. no lippies in my collection that look like this this is why i was very intrigued with the color payoff also with it being a cream gloss balm this is my first time really trying cream glossy products but it's very pigmented and i love that it's buildable you guys saw that as i put on another layer the color was more visible it's just there it's presence it's glossy but i really like the shade i honestly i'm very impressed Okay, so the next shade I'm going to try is Mauve Wife's, and S is a Zola sign. Y'all know Rihanna. She loves herself a dollar sign. Bitch. Like, it's rosy, but it's still, like, dusty. Does that make sense? So this is just one layer. I'm going to go ahead and apply another layer. Okay, so this is Mauve Wives. I really enjoy the shade. As I mentioned, it's rosy, but it's still dusty, if that makes sense. With me, I would have to wear this gloss with a lip liner because I feel like this is one of those colors that be telling that you got a little peach fuzz, you know what I'm saying? And listen, I have a full grown mustache. Y'all may not be able to see it because of the way I did my complexion on my makeup, but your girl has more than a peach fuzz, okay? So with this shade, I definitely feel like I would have to wear a lip liner just to, you know, close things off, to conceal things a little bit. But I really like this color. Like, Okay, so now I'm going to go and try Cookie Jar, which as we said is described as a chocolate caramel. Okay, so this is Cookie Jar. I really love this color. It really reminds me of Caramel. It's a very interesting brand. At first, I thought it was going to be a darker color based on how it looks in the packaging. But once I put it on, I'm like, this is giving the girls Caramel drip, okay? This is a perfect shade for the winter too. So, I like it. It's different. These are really out of my comfort zone. I will say that. And the last shade is Fruit Snacks, which is probably the one that I was the most excited for because I'm like, ooh, it's a berry red. Ooh, it's winter. Y'all know winter reds. Okay. This is just one layer. I'm gonna go ahead and add another layer.
So this is fruit snacks and as I mentioned it's described as a berry red. I'm in love. I usually don't do red glossy lip looks but y'all. It's a vibe especially what I have on right now. The eye look. This is giving holiday party glam to the fullest. I am in love especially with my red nails. It's a it's a vibe. <laughs> But I really like it. I really like it. I like it. It's different. I would have never ever guessed to do a red glossy lip. Y'all know me when it comes to red lips. I am straight matte. But this glossy berry red look is very much so a vibe. But those are the five shades of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Creams. I absolutely love all of them. I would say if I had to choose one that would be my favorite, it would honestly be Fenty Glow. Because if y'all know me, y'all know I love a good glossy nude, pinkish nude lip. So I feel like this will definitely be my go-to, especially with the brown liner as I showed you guys. This is a vibe. This is a vibe. But I love all of the colors. I love that Fenty Beauty has given us a lippy with an option with no shimmer. Because sometimes, you know, the girls just want to be real low-key. They don't want to do too much, but at the same time, they still want to be out there. So I really enjoy these gloss balm creams. I am hoping that Fenty Beauty blesses us with more colors because these are definitely a good starter pack we have darks we have the cookie jar and the fruit snacks we have lights we have pink mauve brownish color you know what i'm saying so they did a good job with the array of their first batch of gloss balm creams i'm in love i'm waiting for more colors my coins are ready for you fancy beauty so yeah that's all i have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys found this video helpful in case you guys are planning to pick these items up comment down below with what your favorite shade was and if you did pick these up let me know what shade you picked up down below as well as if you plan on picking them up let me know what shades you guys plan on picking up down below below before you guys head out make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and make sure y'all subscribe to my channel we're on the road to 8k give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below and until tomorrow's video i'll see you guys later